All right, I made a little jig to hold the uh, rifle I, I've made up so I can paint the barrel. I've been fretting in my mind how I'm going to do this as a casting uh, on the uh, clay. And I just, because it's going to be really difficult to cast this rifle on the clay. And, uh, I've got to make it somewhat easy for the uh, foundry. I don't want to make it so hard that I can't cast it. And right now I can't figure out how I'm going to do this. So I'm thinking I'm going to do another rifle and one that uh, they can cast separate from the one that's going to be on the clay. And uh, well, I'll cover this a little bit more in a few minutes. Time to play with some clay. Okay, I'm really struggling with this final part here of how to do this rifle. Um, I've got, like I said, I've scaled the rifle to the size of the gentleman on the horseback. And uh, I did that on a video program or a I have a publishing program I have on my computer uh, that's called uh, Printmaster Gold. It's an old program. I mean, it's, it dates back to the 90s, but it, it's simple. It's easy to use. And you can actually take a, uh, a scan of a ruler full size. And if you know the head measurement of the uh, figure you're doing, you bring that ruler down to the size where eight and a half inches on the ruler matches the uh, head measurement on the uh, figure you're working on. And that automatically scales everything. And um, I believe that the barrel on the uh, Hawkins that uh, Jim Bridger was using was something like 33 and a half inches. I think that's it. Well... It doesn't say so here. No. So anyway, that's what I scaled it down to. But now I've got to figure out how I'm going to have the detail on this rifle. Uh, made a mold of and to get the casting made of. Um, it's going to be hard and that's where I'm perplexed right now and it's almost bringing me to a solid stop on uh, the creation of this uh, piece. Now I got some uh, clothes hanger clips and I'm going to maybe use these. I, I think what happens on the uh, rifle and one reason why the glue doesn't take effect on it is because the uh, there's no pressure on the uh, joint the joining of the two pieces or the two pieces of metal and I tried to do that with tape but uh, anyway I've got also a photograph 
that somebody sent me of a detail of the uh, barrel. I'll put it up here on this video. And you can see there is a thin rod underneath the barrel that has uh, round uh, receptacles for the uh, ramrod. And uh, I'm, I want to have that on there. But again, uh, it's not on this one. And uh, I think what I'll do is I'll redo the rifle, but I'm not going to video it. Because I, I think that would probably drive you guys right up a wall to watch me recreating a rifle again. And uh, I don't want to drive you up a wall. Okay, I've got to line up this... Uh, woo with the top of the uh the flat top of this barrel Oop. and actually it falls and lands right on my shirt <laughs> oh gosh oh man come on dave how hard is this to do this, I'm trying to get this barrel as close to the uh, edge of this piece of wood so that I can glue it and then use my yeah. got it now there's the side with the uh, glue I dare say this is impossible to do. But I'm not one to give up easy. Ever. Okay. Now we'll take one close. Well, that doesn't work. Enough to drive you right up the wall. And there it goes on the floor again. The problem is it doesn't take a lot to knock it off position. Because it's such a tiny dang thing. Okay. <sighs> On top of the fact, I'm almost blind. Doesn't help me either. Ah, crap. All right, I'm going to try something here. I need something to keep the barrel from rolling. And maybe the way to do that is put it on clay. Let's see, I gotta make sure that 
flat side is up. It's really hard to see that. Okay, I'm going to press the barrel into the uh, clay. That'll keep it from rolling. And I'm going to get some tape ready to go. Because the uh, clothes line doohiggies won't work. All right, I'm going to take the Gorilla Glue now, run a bead all the way down the top. A lot easier when it's stuck there and can't move. I put it this, on this uh, piece of wood so that I can control the... Uh, whole project here. Now I need to press this down on the top of the uh, barrel. All right, finally after struggling with it for about a half hour, <laughs> I finally got it figured out and uh, found that putting some clay down on the uh, thing was a lot better than trying to clamp it down with either tape or clothesline clips. Oh, man. So anyway, that's going to be set aside for now. And I'll come back to this in a couple of days. Uh, that was a uh, that was an adventure. <sighs> Unfortunately, I just used up all my pop battery power on my camera. So I'm going to have to come back and visit, visit, visit this tomorrow. Um, let me show you what I've got so far. All right, I put the uh, rifle in place on the hand of uh, Jim Bridger. And uh, I think what I can do is, is fill in under the rifle, between the clothing and the rifle. I think they can make a mold of this together, but I can't be certain on that. But I've got to figure something out and uh, that may be the only way I can do this. Well, I'm going to have to pick it, figure this out tomorrow. I'm running out of time this afternoon. I got down here stupid late again. I'm sorry, this is not much of a video. I don't like not being able to uh, bring you good videos. This is not a great one. All right. Good night, everybody. I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.